Suzanne Vega. She's a smashing lady. Nice to meet her. Well, um, we talked talk about Ireland tonight, and Ireland seems to be taking the world by storm with its musicians, with its singers, its songwriters and bands. Wales seems to have missed the boat somewhat, except for my next guest who seemed to have broken the mould. With his band Waterfront, he had a hit all over the world. Will you please welcome Chris Duffy. Great. We must go to the same table. I think we've got the yeah. same stylist. So, um, I mean, the record, how difficult was it? Because you were based down here in Wales. How did you get the deal and how did the record become a hit all over the world? Um, God, it was just one of those incredible strokes of luck when um, we just happened to have a cassette with a, a lawyer, a London-based lawyer. And these two American sort of uh, record moguls came into town and just over lunch one day they asked this lawyer that was representing Phil and myself. Uh, if he had anything interesting. He said, well, I've got this in the drawer here. And the guy listened to it over lunch and came back and signed us for eight albums. Goodness me. I mean, the, the whole thing took off. I mean, bigger than your wildest dreams in America. It certainly did, yeah. And they still they still know the song in America, don't oh, they? Oh, God, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I still get a lot of royalties from American radio. So why did it stop? Why did Waterfront not carry on, not that's, have the next hit and the next that's hit? That's a good question. Um, well, you know, I mean, I think it all hit us so fast. I mean, the, the, you know, we went from being an unsigned band to having sort of a, a worldwide hit single and we did an American tour and I think well certainly from you know Phil's point of view I think it all sort of happened a bit too quickly and I think he wanted to take a step back yeah. and sort of you know reassess you know what he wanted to do you know so are you still gonna be Waterfront or are you gonna be Chris Duffy who are you gonna well, be who are you it really depends I think I'll be Chris Duffy oh, but however if you know the American record companies wanted to continue using the name well I'm quite happy to do that you know Luckily, we haven't got one of those skeletons in the closet where we did something, you know, yeah. we were embarrassed yeah. about. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. So, uh, where next? You, you've just come back from America. You come home to Cardiff. Yeah. yeah, I was in Los Angeles uh, a week and a half ago. I just came back. And, uh, well, I'm probably going to be going out there again next on November the 10th, I believe. Right. But mainly for meetings, actually. Because the music is... I mean, it's very American, isn't it? It doesn't really fit yes. into, into Britain or, or particularly Wales. Right. Well, in, when we did the first album, we didn't really... And, you know, we, as we were writing the material, we didn't know that if it was American or English. We just wrote ten songs, you know, and that's how it came out. I think it sort of reflects what we were probably into at the time. And you're still writing? Yeah, absolutely. Did you yeah, write I'm writing. In fact, it was meant to be in the studio today. Really? Yeah. Who are you writing with? Oh, I'm, I wrote the last track I wrote with a guy called Marcus Veer, who used to be a keyboard player. He's one half of Living, living in a Box. Oh, Remember yeah, those? yeah, big hit. Yeah, so I was I'm working with him and also with a guy called Roger Cook. The guy who wrote uh, Like to Teach the World to Sing? Yes. Wow, yes. great. Yes. All right, and well, uh, nobody comes on the show and gets away without singing. So I hear. You notice this. Chris, <laughs> do you want to go and join the band? Yeah, I will do. Thanks okay, a lot. Okay, over you go. Well, that's just about it for tonight. Oshin Roberts is going to join us on saxophone as well for the last number. Next week, we've got Labby Sifri and we've got Cliff Richard. Hope you can join us for that. i better go and join the band. Cause when my love comes a tumbling 
Cause when my love 